Hi, this is Laurie from HidingInMyCraftRoom.com. Today I'm going to be working on a project with items from CropChocolate.com. I've got a Making Memories Just Chilling for Girls. This Lush for My, I, my Mind's Eye. And this is fantastic. It has um, papers. It has alphabet stickers which are on the chipboard. It's got some ribbon and some brads. We're going to be using uh, some items in there. And then also some papers from Making Memories 12 by 12 page kit. Okay, and what I'm going to be doing, the challenge was to make something all about you. And I decided I would do, take one of these composition journals and I'm going to cover it with some papers from that Making Memories page kit. These are trimmed. I left it at, it was a 12 by 12 piece of paper and I trimmed it uh, 9 by 12. And then I got a solid that I'm going to put on the inside and this is trimmed at 7 by 9. So I'm going to cover it and then I'm going to add some embellishments. So let's get started. This is the ribbon from the Luxurious Basics by My Mind's Eye. And I want to put that on before I put my solid card stock, uh, designer paper on the inside, like so. Okay, so I got the front done. I'm going to do the exact same thing with the back, except I'm going to um, leave the ribbon off. I'm going to go over to the Cricut and cut out a few flowers and embellishments, and then I'm going to come back here and finish putting on the finishing touches. Okay, so here I am at my Cricut machine. I'm going to be using Forever Young cartridge, which I already have in the machine. I am going to first cut this emblem, remember it cuts this way, which is why I've got my paper loaded in like that. I'm, it's um, page 68, fifth row, fifth but, button, emblem, shift, five, make sure it comes up in the window, and I want it to be, I'm going to say five inches, but I'm going to use real dial size because I want it to really be five inches. Um, okay, then cut. Okay, I've cut that out, and now what I've got, I've got a little area right here that's, um, I don't want to mess up my brown, but I want to use up all my scraps. It's three inches, give or take. So I'm going to cut a flower out. I'm going to keep the real dial size on. And I'm just going to cut just this flower, flower seven, fifth row, number seven. Take off the emblem. Let's see, let's, I had something else in there. Let's, uh, fifth row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to leave the real dial size on and I'm going to dial it back to two. One, two, each of these squares is an inch, so I'm going to do two and a half. I feel confident with two and a half. However, I did six, so I'm going to clear that, and I want to do seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. I can't talk and count at the same time. At two and a half, and then cut. Okay, that's done. Let's do line return, and we're right there at the brown. Let's go 
three inches or you know what that's one, two three four inches wide so let's go three and a half I want a big background brown and I like yeah okay I'm gonna do flower six this time and I'm gonna do the shadow six at three and a half oh that's absolutely gorgeous okay I'm gonna do another one let's see okay no I'm just gonna do that one let's say it was at three and a half keep it at three and a half okay, I'm just gonna scroll down and then this pink I'm going to do the shift I, I've kept the real dial size does real dial size on uh oh shift uh oh glare display shift make sure it's up in my window and it's saying uh, oh that's because it's the shadow there isn't a shift in the shadow so if it says not available on there be sure and look at your book because see I was doing the shift in this shadow and it says not available so nothing's wrong with my Cricut nothing is wrong with my cartridge it's me because I'm going to cut out a few more flowers and some of the other papers that I have meet you back over at the table we'll put it all together and we'll have a fun all about me project okay so I've cut out some varying sizes of flowers uh oh and I ran some through the cuddle bug you know me I can't make anything easy so um, that was with the stamping up um, embossing folder here what I did was I took my ink and I rubbed it on the inside of this I think it's called spots and dots I'm not hundred percent sure and then I ran it through to give it texture and a little color and I'm just adhering some of the pieces together and these brads were in the my eye my mind's eye lush kit and I'm going to use some of those. I had to get the big boy so I could get to the center. These are the chipboard stickers that came in that same kit. And I'm going to start with the M because that is the center. I'm actually making me a little journal for my blog hiding in my craft room. So I'm going to put the M in the center. So there's my finished All About Me project for CropChocolate.com. I am going to be using this for my website or my blog, hiding in my... And I'm just going to put ideas in here. I could embellish the inside if I wanted, but it is at least got the solid. So you don't see the writing and you don't see where I have glued it or adhered it. And I did do the back. I'm going to have as many details as I possibly can on my blog, hidinginmycraftroom.com. Please come over there and visit me, and also you can see some of my other work. Thanks for watching.